Well, hello and welcome to the Universal College of Reflexology's Professional Training Overview. My name is Jack Marriott, and I'm the co-principal of the Universal College of Reflexology, and I am a certified master reflexologist. And I want you to know that we're delighted you had a chance to join us today. We're talking to you wherever you are from beautiful Vancouver Island in the Pacific Ocean on the west coast of Canada. I'll never forget while growing up how much my mum loved me to rub her feet. At the end, she always smiled and said a very meaningful, Thank you, Jack. That thank you stayed with me forever. And after her passing, those inspirational words motivated me to change my life and make a difference in other people's lives. Now let me explain how we're going to get started today. And I'd like to let you know about some of the opportunities this webinar presents to you. We're going to begin by doing a brief overview and share with you some of the great opportunities in the booming wellness industry. We'll inform you about the profession of reflexology. We will present our training and future certification opportunities for you. After all, you want to learn reflexology, but you don't want to learn from just anybody. The official term used to describe what we do is complementary and alternative medicine. It's known as CAM, C-A-M. Health and wellness is the fastest growing industry in the entire world, and CAM is its most rapidly growing segment fueled by the aging demands of baby boomers. The statistics are astounding, and you will see for yourself that a career as a certified reflexologist makes more sense than ever before. We will introduce you to the latest scientific research that proves reflexology works very efficiently. And we'll introduce you to how easy it is to become a professionally certified reflexologist, internationally credentialed through the Universal College of Reflexology. As a certified reflexologist, nearly all of my clients are just like my mum, smiling warmly at me saying, thank you for helping them with reflexology. What a magnificent career helping people to feel better. I hope you too can share in my mom's inspiration so that you can take that action step to a new career as a professionally certified reflexologist. Now it's my pleasure to introduce you to one of the most brilliant people I've ever had the opportunity of working with. She's a world authority on reflexology and an expert in creating cutting-edge reflexology training programs. Lauren Slade has been a certified master reflexologist for over three decades and she is a past president of the Reflexology Association of Canada. Lauren has successfully helped thousands of clients with a multitude of diseases to live a more abundant, happier and healthier life. For the past 22 years, Lauren has devoted her full-time efforts to helping others become certified professional reflexologists. So, it's with great pleasure that I introduce you to Lauren Slade, my business partner and the person who inspires me to be the best that I can be every single day. Hi, Lauren. Hi Jack, that was a wonderful introduction. Thank you so much. We have a uh, lots of information to cover in our webinar today, so I'll just get started here. We'll go through some of the things that we're going to be covering as we start our presentation. We're going to talk about who we are and why we do what we do. And then why should you put reflexology on your radar? What's happening in this natural healing field? We'll let you know about that. And then just as in many fields, reflexologists can specialize. We'll give you some great ideas and places to start. The opportunities are endless. 
and we'll talk a little about reflexology earnings and the expanding job market. You might be surprised when you hear what the average earnings of a full-time reflexologist are. We'll give you the figures. Now, you might be wondering, could I become a reflexologist? What does it take to be a reflexologist? What are the basic requirements? Well, we'll cover that and let you know some of the professions that have come through our college to train as a reflexologist. They are very diverse. They range from an airline pilot to a school teacher, but they all have one thing in common. And why is reflexology growing in popularity? Why do people want to have a reflexology session? Who are the clients of reflexologists? Demand definitely outstrips supply. And how valid is reflexology? Is there any research? We'll give you some of the latest information that we have on that. And Jack mentioned complementary and alternative medicine, CAM. But did you know that CAM is a billion dollar market? Industry sales in 2002 were 200 billion. It is currently at 700 billion and rising. And why? Because people are getting the results that they're looking for and they're willing to pay out of their own pocket to get those results. Now, as I said, reflexologists are in demand. We actually get calls here at the college all the time from people looking for a reflexologist in their area. And we are so disappointed that so many times we simply have to tell them that there are none. Reflexologists are really in demand and we have the clients waiting to fulfill those services. And let's talk a little bit about our training that we offer. Just to give you some background, our college was founded in September of 1991. Now, the first national commercial online service to offer internet access to its subscribers opened up an email connection in July 1992, and the full internet service didn't arrive until November 1992. Our college is older than the internet as you know it. When we started, the only way that we could communicate with our students was by a letter and a stamp and by somebody coming along to the college, the physical college, and being able to speak to us. The days of emails and being able to direct people to a website simply did not exist. Hard to believe, isn't it? But our college has embraced this virtual classroom training and also offers hands-on. And with schedules that we have today that are so busy, an online course is ideal. Our online training consists of a virtual classroom with state-of-the-art multimedia presentations, which you can work around your own schedule. And UCL's proven professional reflexology program is powerful, easy to learn, easy to use, and flexible. We've had hundreds and hundreds of students come through our program so that what we offer now is absolutely the peak of perfection in the training of reflexology available anywhere in the world. And finally we'll finish up the special offer for today's webinar attendees. Well that's a lot to get us started so let's get going. So let's start with who we are and why we do what we do. We are the Universal College of Reflexology as we've said established in 1991 and our mission is to provide the finest in professional reflexology training and certification to as many motivated people as possible and help change the world one pair of feet at a time. And the second part is that it's our mission to provide ongoing training and support for all of our graduates, which we do with our postgraduate training program, which is the only 12-month postgraduate online training program anywhere in the world. So this is me, Lauren Slade, and that was Jack that uh, introduced us. And we're very happy to be here talking about reflexology, which is an ancient natural healing method of helping the body to heal and we're offering today a great training opportunity so we'll keep going here. And so why should you put reflexology on your radar? Well let me tell you that I've worked for over 30 years as a reflexologist and I have seen many miracles happen because of it. I've worked on thousands of people in my reflexology clinic over the years and reflexology has succeeded after many more conventional therapies have not. More than a few people came to me as a last resort, some with a whole range of unexplained symptoms that had baffled a whole host of specialist doctors. Others had exhausted all the 21st century medical options, drug, surgery, etc., and they were told that death was imminent. 
Many of those people, after receiving reflexology, went on to enjoy a healthy, fulfilled life, and some of them recovered 100%, while others just significantly improved enough to resume activities such as sports and work. Reflexology has the power to change lives for the better. And people who are looking for an alternative solution, when they find reflexology, know that this is something that can help them. So just as in many fields, reflexologists can specialise, there are many opportunities available to certified reflexologists. You can be in general practice. Lots of people are very happy to do that. Same as your medical doctor can just be in general practice. Or if you choose and you have a special interest in your heart, then there are lots of areas where you can specialise. For example, if you like to work with babies and pregnant ladies, then maternity reflexology, baby reflexology. If you have a family yourself and you're interested in working with other families, then family reflexology. If you love working with seniors, then senior reflexology, because seniors have a whole set of health issues that are just unique to them. So specialising in that can be a very, very worthwhile and satisfying career. And then there's female health reflexology. There have been several of the students have decided for one reason or another that they wanted to set up a home-based clinic. And being women, they didn't want to invite just anybody into their home, so they decided to specialise in female health. They were able to help clients with fertility issues, perimenopause, hormonal problems, menopause, and specific women's health concerns in the comfort and safety of their own home. And male health, uh, spa reflexology, Sports reflexology, golf, baseball, football. Uh, my uncle actually used to be a reflexologist to a football team in the UK. Um, tennis, cyclists, uh, runners, marathon runners. One of my clients was a marathon runner and we used to very specifically work on him and we were able to get him from 300th place in the London Marathon up to 50th place which is huge and we were working with him to be able to shave just seconds off of his time very specific very very rewarding and I would be with him working on him specific times before the marathon because when you're in a marathon you hit the wall at 21 miles and so we would work on him so that he, the reflexology would kick in for him when he was at the 21st mile. He didn't need the extra energy at the beginning, but he needed it at the 21st mile to help him finish off the marathon. And we were just getting to perfect that uh, technique when unfortunately I moved away. So, uh, but I heard he still went on to, to do great things. Back health, you can build an entire career about helping somebody relieve back pain. There is an epidemic of back pain uh, nowadays. So now having a practice specialising in that can be very lucrative and very busy. And then working with the diabetic clients, they have a whole range of problems which can be very rewarding if you're able to help them alleviate some of their symptoms. And of course springtime, or depending where you are in the world, allergy relief. Allergies can be very, very disabling. And so I used to ha have an, an entire section of my practice built around allergy relief at certain times of the year with tremendous results. So you can specialise, you don't have just to be a general practitioner. You can specialise in a field that you love and combine your love of whatever it is plus reflexology. Now that's what I call a win-win situation. So now you've decided you're interested in learning reflexology, the next question is how much can you earn? This chart here, which was updated on the 30th of April 2012, gives an idea of how much earnings are across the United States. So let's just zoom in on that a little bit. This is zero, and then this is 100,000, this is uh, 80,000. So in Atlanta, which is the highest one, it's probably about 85,000. This is full-time, though. This is operating full-time practice. If you're only going to be doing it part-time, then obviously you need to reduce down the earnings significantly. In Orlando, you can see it's almost 60,000. In Miami, just about the same. Phoenix, slightly less. Uh, Chicago, up just about 60,000. And as I said, the number of hours that you work will prorate that out. Still not a bad salary. So what does it take to be a reflexologist? Some of the backgrounds that our students have had have been very diverse. Everything from a minister in the church, to a farmer, to a reporter, model, actor, chef, bus driver, police officer, nurses, registered and practical nurses, bank manager, soldier, 
doula or midwife or birthing specialist, nursing aides, postal workers, librarians, airline pilot, human resources, paramedic, flight attendants, firemen, holistic therapists, dental assistants, dietitians, government workers, school bus drivers, yoga instructors. Our students have covered a wide range of professions as they've come in to learn reflexology. The only proviso is that the age must be 18 or over. The oldest student we've ever had was 86 years old. She was a bit concerned she may not be able to do the course, but actually she finished top of the, that particular class that she was in. What do all these people have in common? They all love to help people. It's all about people helping people. So what's the most single important thing it takes to be a great reflexologist? What do you think is the single most important thing to be a great reflexologist? Well, it's an authentic passion to be a positive influence in helping people live a better and healthier life. That's what all great reflexologists have in common. Now, why do people want to have reflexology? Number one reason is because they want to relieve stress. And I couldn't help resist this little cartoon. I love it. There are only two times when I feel stress, at day and at night. And why do we feel stressed? Well, because we feel like we have the weight of the world on our shoulders. And this next picture I can relate to it sometimes. I'm just a little stressed right now. Just turn around, leave quietly, and no one gets hurt. I just, somehow, I can really relate to that picture on some days. And just as a little aside, do you know what stressed is backwards? Stressed is desserts, spelt backwards. I just thought that was an interesting little thing, so I'd throw it in. Now, so many of us feel, as I said, as if they have the weight of the world on their shoulders, when this is how we really want to feel. Carefree, we want to feel freedom, we want to feel safe, secure, and at ease. And one of the reasons why we go to the doctor is because we're stressed. In fact, the American Institute of Stress says that 75 to 90% of doctor visits are related to stress. That is, the symptoms of the diseases and the illness that we create are caused by stress. So what are the symptoms of stress? Well, the physical symptoms of stress, we'll go through a list here, may surprise you. The physical symptoms of stress include ulcers, backaches, cancer, hypertension, colitis, obesity, a loss of appetite, stroke, shortness of breath, skin problems, muscle aches, frequent colds and illnesses, headaches, diabetes, chronic fatigue, heart disease, sleep disturbances, nausea, diarrhea, hardening of the arteries, sweating, allergies, teeth grinding, pounding heart. These are really the symptoms of stress, absolutely. And there's even more. Increased blood pressure, suppressed immune system, Lowered blood supply to extremities, making poor circulation even worse. Lowered absorption of the nutrient to the bowels. Negative bowel functions, including constipation, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and irritable bowel syndrome. Disturbed sleeping patterns and insomnia, dry mouth, ulcers. Lowered libido and sperm count in men. And a disturbed menstrual cycle. I just want to stress this is a partial list of the physical symptoms of stress. Now there's also a whole range of psychological or emotional symptoms of stress. Prone to accidents, depression, irritability, easily discouraged, little joy in life, apathy, loneliness, fewer contacts with friends, negative attitudes, negative self-talk, Poor concentration, anxiety, bad temper, worrying, difficulty making decisions, loss of direction, cynicism, intolerance, boredom and forgetfulness. No wonder we tend to feel and relate to this picture. When all we want to do is feel like this. 
So the simple solution is stop the stress. How do you stop the stress? Reflexology. Reflexology is a stress reliever. Reflexology is a drugless, non-invasive, natural healing therapy that alleviates stress and releases built-up tension. It strengthens the immune system and harmonizes vital functions and promotes relaxation and a powerful sense of well-being. There's a whole set of relaxation techniques that we specifically teach in our reflexology class which will help even the most stressed person become relaxed in a very short period of time. Just for clarification, what is relaxation? Picked up a couple of dictionary definitions here. The American Medical Dictionary says it's refreshment of body or mind. I love that one. Mosby's Medical Dictionary says it's a reducing of tension. And the Millikeen Encyclopedia and Dictionary of Medicine, Nursing and Allied Health says relaxation techniques, methods used to promote lessening of tension, reduction of anxiety and management of pain. That is what the reflexology relaxation techniques do. Now this is a picture of some of our students in the classroom and you can see I did a close-up here but these are students who are actually being worked on and as you could see they were really hard pushed to be able to even keep their eyes open even in the situation of being in a classroom and learning reflexology they couldn't keep their eyes open as soon as they had their feet being touched. And I just also want to say, in case you're thinking that it's all feet, it's not only feet that reflexology works on. We work on the hands, the ears, and the face. But the basic course that we start off with is the feet. Now, is there any research into reflexology? There was an article in the Alive magazine that was pain relief and reflexology research. And it said that there was an interesting study from Iran that looked at women who experienced chronic premenstrual cramps and were treated with reflexology. The women reported reflexology not only decreased pain, but was more effective than ibuprofen at minimizing chronic discomfort. An amazing outcome. And also Korean researchers conducted a meta-analysis of 44 studies on reflexology and they found that foot reflexology relieved chronic pain and had positive effects on fatigue and sleep. And then there's also some research on reflexology for symptom relief in patients with cancer. As a note, just let me comment that an average of 31% of UK United Kingdom patients with cancer use some form of complementary therapy to help them with their symptoms. In fact, many UK cancer centres and outpatient units and hospices are providing these complementary services. And they say that there is strong anecdotal evidence that reflexology assists in the palliation of physical and psychological symptoms of cancer patients. And then there was some research into whether reflexology could help headaches. The Royal Danish School of Pharmacy, in cooperation with five reflexology associations, conducted a research study on the effects of reflexology relieving headaches and they used 220 patients in this study. The conclusion? 81% of patients confirmed that reflexology had either cured or helped their symptoms after three months. In fact, 19% of the patients reported they had been able to completely dispense with the medications they'd been taking before the study. Incredible results. Now, when we hear about studies like this, it says the reported results, and most of the studies, it's empirical or observed results. The patients report positive outcomes. They report that their medication, for example, is no longer needed. But how does reflexology actually work? In three separate studies in Hong Kong, researchers explored with functional MRI magnetic resonance imaging what happens in the brain when pressure or technique is applied to a specific reflex area on the left foot. Their findings? The specific parts of the brain activated by such work correlates with reflexology theory and intended use. And so let me just explain by this is a standard reflexology map. In fact, this is the one that we use here at the college. 
and each area on the foot correlates to an organ or part of the body. This red area here relates to the heart. This is a heart reflex. This green area here is the liver reflex. Yellow is kidney reflex. Small intestines down here. Red area here is the stomach reflex, spleen reflex. So every area in the body is reflected onto the feet. And what they found in this MRI is that when they stimulated certain areas of the feet, they could actually see on the MRI screen a correlating reaction in the brain. As I said, the study has found a direct correlation between pressure to a single reflex area of the foot and one of the brain's processing areas for pain, the insula. They found there was improved blood flow to the kidneys after reflexology was applied to the kidney reflex. There was improved blood flow to the intestines after the intestine reflex was stimulated. There were changes in the blood sugar levels when the pancreas was stimulated. And also there was a change in the heart function when the heart reflexes were stimulated. So science is now being able to prove what we reflexologists have known for years. They're now being able to actually see with the new equipment how pressing the reflex areas on various parts of the body does indeed have an effect on the function of the particular organ that's being stimulated and have specifically been able to measure the responses in the brain. That's why we say that reflexology is a science artfully applied. The artist is the reflexologist and how they paint their picture, how they work on the feet is as individual as every painting there is out there. So how many reflexologists are there? Well, the studies say there are between 20 and 25,000 reflexologists in the whole world. And to put that into perspective, in the United States alone, there are between 280 and 320,000 massage therapists and massage school students. So there being 20 to 25,000 reflexologists in the entire world goes to show what a shortfall we have here. And I should say that reflexologists have quite the advantage over massage therapists. Massage therapists have an average of a five-year burnout rate. They average on between four and five years in practice. And massage therapists are also typically prone to tendonitis of the muscles of the shoulders and the wrist, pain in the muscles that attach to the scapula, and low back pain. So is it the same for reflexologists? Do they suffer the same shoulder, low back pain, scapula problems that massage therapists do? The answer is no. Reflexology is much gentler on the practitioner because it's usually performed seated whereas the massage practitioner is standing and moving around the body and sometimes doing quite strenuous manipulations in order to be able to massage their client. Now we're going to talk a little bit about complementary and alternative medicine. It's known as CAM, as Jack said in the introduction. This covers things like reflexology, massage, herbalism, aromatherapy, acupuncture, and also chiropractic. How big is the CAM market? Let me give you a few statistics here. 83 million adults spent $33.9 billion out of pocket on CAM complementary alternative medicine therapies in 2007. Complementary alternative medicine costs are 11.2% of total out-of-pocket expenses on health care. And 38% of adults reported using complementary and alternative medicine in the previous 12 months. Now, how many reflexologists did we say there were? Between 20 and 25,000 reflexologists worldwide. So are there too many therapists? Absolutely not. In the United States, as we said, there's between 280,000 and 320,000 massage therapists. So why would you want to become a certified reflexologist? Well, because you'd own your own business. You'd have the ability to work from home. It has very low or very little startup costs. There's no inventory to pay out at the beginning. You can start part-time and work up into full-time. You can help the people you most care about. 
You can create your legacy and leave the world a better place because you were here and you can earn what you are worth. The Universal College of Reflexology has over 21 years of experience training reflexologists just like you all over the world. We have students and alumni on six continents and islands, 40 countries, 10 Canadian provinces and three territories and 35 of the United States. And here's a glimpse of just some of those thousands of students that have passed through the doors of our college over our 21 plus years of teaching. These students have enjoyed our proven teaching system. We have an online website that has PowerPoint presentations, manuals each month, videos to watch, quizzes, books, reference guides, maps, everything that you need to become a professional certified foot reflexology practitioner. So where in the world are our UCR students? As you can see, we cover all continents. We believe that we are changing the world one pair of feet at a time. Our training system is powerful, easy to learn, easy to use and flexible. We have a proven learning system that has a manual, PowerPoint presentations, teleseminars, videos that you can watch over and over again in order to be able to perfect the different techniques required to be an excellent reflexologist. There are quizzes, bonuses, a return to learning manual to help you get the best out of your learning experience, a quick start guide to help you get started, reflexology foot charts, there's a lounge where you can chat with your fellow students around the world, Coach Jack will give you coaching tips and hints throughout your program, question and answer sessions, and also we offer hands-on practical sessions to hone your practical skills. So why should you consider online learning? You can work at your own pace. With schedules these days so taxing, an online course is ideal. You can work around your own schedule. If you have a job or a family to take care of, you can easily arrange your classwork around those demands and you can learn in your pyjamas. So what will you learn in the course? Module 1 is the foundation of reflexology. By the end of this first module, you'll be able to give a basic relaxation reflexology session. We'll discuss stress, what causes it, what symptoms to look out for, and you'll discover why reflexology is such a great stress reliever. You'll learn how often reflexology can be given, the optimum length of a session, how much pressure to use when thumb walking, and exactly what's expected of a reflexologist before, during and after a session. You'll also explore the fascinating history of reflexology covering thousands of years and find out how reflexology grew from the origins of zone therapy. You'll learn exactly how the feet mirror the body and the structure of the feet as well as some practical techniques so you can begin using it right away. You can watch the videos over and over, listen to the MP3 lectures and read the printed workbook. Learning has never been so easy. Module 2 will start teaching you some of the techniques. You'll watch the videos and learn how to work the feet. We'll teach you several specific techniques including thumb walking, finger walking, hooking technique, leverage principle, proper pressure and session protocols. We'll teach you how to put a session together. You will learn some of the fascinating information that can be gleaned from looking at the feet and we'll cover foot health and conditions. How to bring it all together to give a basic foot reflexology session and we'll also teach you how to take care of yourself teaching important hand exercises to promote your own health as a bonus. Imagine healing yourself as you also help others to heal. Module 3 will teach you all about the reflexology map. In this module you'll learn the reflexology map of the body is reflected onto the feet. It will teach you a simple grid system which will help you learn where all the reflexes are on the feet which is amazingly easy to master. You'll also learn conditions to look for and conditions to avoid. In Module 4 we start teaching the foot sequence. 
The reflexology session is divided into five easy to learn sections and here is where you'll begin to learn how to structure your sessions with your clients by watching video clips of me, Lauren, actually doing every move that you'll learn. You'll find out what to do before each session, what sequence to follow during the session, what equipment to use to maximize your effectiveness and client comfort. We'll also cover in this section the body's hormonal system also known as the endocrine system and how to specialize in resolving painful muscular or skeletal bone problems such as back, neck or sciatic pain. Module 5 we move on to part 2 of the foot sequence and we'll also focus on the cardiovascular or circulatory system and the respiratory system. We'll talk about conditions such as heart problems, headaches, varicose veins and high blood pressure. And in Module 6, we'll cover Part 3 of the foot sequence. In this session, we'll be talking about digestion. It's often said that all disease starts in the colon, which is a very important part of the digestive system. Knowing how to work these reflexes can assist with everything from heartburn, ulcers, colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, gallstones to constipation. Also covered in this module is the immune system which deals with allergies, chronic fatigue syndrome, edema or swelling, asthma and tonsillitis. Building immunity is easy with reflexology. Module 7 moves on to part 4. And also in this section, we'll review reflexology equipment. The massage table or recliner, height adjustable chair for the reflexologist, what creams, lotions, wipes and powders you'll need during a session, and whether or not to use music or candles during a session, and I think the answer might surprise you. You'll focus on the male and female reproductive systems, showing the reflex points for menopausal, morning sickness, infertility, impotence and menstrual cramps, as well as the urinary system and disorders such as cystitis, edema, gout, kidney stones and urinary tract infections. All of these can be assisted with reflexology to great effectiveness. Module 8. We move on to part 5 of the foot sequence. Here you'll learn how to work the spinal reflexes to great effect. Incredibly successful reflexology businesses have been built entirely on being able to help alleviate painful back conditions such as sciatica and low back pain. You'll discover their secrets here. You'll also learn about the nervous system and how you can use reflexology to alleviate conditions such as multiple sclerosis, insomnia, whiplash, Parkinson's disease and meningitis. In Module 9 we'll move on to professionalism. We have a unique approach to business building which has brought incredible successes to our students. In this session you'll gain the valuable knowledge of just what is required for a professional to conduct their practice. These things include such important subjects as the atmosphere of the room where you practice and the importance of your client consultation. You'll learn the ins and outs of client confidentiality, how to document client history and why and how to document each session, how to recognize and record sensitive reflexes and what to expect during and after a session. We even give you a four-page client health history form and two-page session record to use in your own practice. Module 10, here we pull everything together and show you the complete foot sequence. You'll be amazed at how easily you can follow the entire session sequence and you'll also discover how to close the session for the best effect for yourself and your client. And there's also a surprise bonus of a two-page cheat sheet to help you easily follow along with the reflexology routine. Module 11 is all about building a successful business. What good is learning this amazing healing technique if you have no idea how to build a practice? In this session you'll learn about goals, intentions, marketing and promotions, referrals and how you can make an even bigger difference in the lives of others. In short, you'll receive everything you need to know to plan, build and promote your business. You'll also get the forms you need for certification if you've chosen to go that route. So what's included in your tuition? manual, PowerPoint presentation, 
teleseminars, videos, quizzes, bonuses, return to learning manual, quick start guide, reflexology foot chart, the lounge where you can chat with your fellow students around the world, Coach Jack coaching you along to help you be the best that you can possibly be, questions and answer sessions with students, and a gold embossed printed certificate. This is what the beautiful gold embossed certificate looks like that you will earn when you successfully complete the Professional Foot Reflexology Practitioner Program. Now you think this is all really interesting information, Lauren, but the bottom line is I want to know how much is this going to cost me? Well, to become a Professional Foot Reflexology Practitioner, the cost is fourteen ninety seven plus tax. Now when you think about it, that's a really great investment. 15 clients at $100, 20 clients at 75 or even if you only charge $50, which is very low nowadays, 30 clients, 30 hours, and your investment in your education has been paid in full. But perhaps you're wondering whether you actually want to have a career in reflexology. Perhaps you think it would be nice to be able to find a simple way of just introducing yourself into the topic to see whether this is something that you'd be really interested in. Perhaps you would just like to do relaxation reflexology on family and friends, not sure about doing it as a career or working on other people. If you remember when we went through the different modules, module one was all about the foundation of reflexology. We said that by the end of the first module, you'll be able to give a basic relaxation reflexology session. In that first module, we'll talk about stress, what causes it, what symptoms to look out for, and you'll also be able to find out why reflexology is such an incredible stress reliever. You'll learn how often reflexology can be given, the optimum length of a session, how much pressure to use when thumb walking or finger walking, and exactly what is expected of a reflexologist before, during or after a session. We'll also explain about the fascinating history of reflexology, which covers thousands of years, and we'll find out how reflexology grew from the origins of zone therapy. You'll learn exactly how the feet mirror the body and the structure of the feet, and as we said, practical techniques so you can start using them immediately. There'll be videos that you can watch over and over, lectures that you can listen to, and there's a workbook that you can print out and refer to. As we said, learning has never been so easy. So if you're interested in just doing relaxation reflexology for family and friends, then everything that you need to know is covered in this Module 1. So we're going to offer just Module 1 on its own for the sum of $297. Now, as we said at the beginning of this webinar, we're going to make this a special deal for those of you who are spending the time with us at this particular call. We're going to give you $100 off. So instead of it being $297, we're going to give you that $100 off. And so then you can take the relaxation reflexology course for just $197 plus tax. Now, this $100 discount is available for people attending this webinar only. So when you get to the checkout, if you choose this option, you'll notice that the price is actually $297. So in order to get your $100 coupon discount, you'll need to enter the coupon code HAPPYFEET. HAPPYFEET, H-A-P-P-Y-F-E-E-T. When you get to the checkout, and there'll be a little box marked coupon, and you will see that it's $297. And only for those people at this webinar, they'll have the $197 price if they enter the coupon code Happy Feet. But what if you actually change your mind afterwards and discover that you love reflexology so much as often happens and you'd actually like to do reflexology as a career. You'd like to be able to learn how to be able to offer this as a paid service for other people to be able to appreciate. Well, as we said, the price is 197 and if you do decide to become a certified professional foot reflexologist and want to do the entire program, then we will deduct the 197 that you've paid for the Module 1 Relaxation Reflexology off of the 1497 that it costs to do the course. So that would mean that you have to pay $1,300 plus tax. 
And then we thought, you know, we want to make this an absolute no-brainer. We want to make this a very simple decision for you to be able to make, to be able to upgrade from the relaxation reflexology program to the professional program. So we decided that we would give you the full $297 off of the full cost of the course. So instead of it being $1497, you'll pay $197 for the relaxation course, but we'll deduct $297 off of the professional foot reflexology full practitioner certification program so that when you upgrade, it will just be $1200 plus tax. And so you have two options sign up for the relaxation reflexology or the full professional foot reflexology practitioner certification program. The relaxation reflexology is for a special for attendees of this webinar only. It's 197 And remember that when you get to the checkout, it will say 297 because that's the price everybody not attending this webinar will be paying. In order to get your $100 discount, you need to enter the coupon code Happy Feet. H A P P Y F E E T Happy Feet. You need to enter that into the box, otherwise you'll pay the price of two ninety seven. And if you've decided that after all the fabulous information that you've heard that you just want to dive straight in and sign up for the full professional foot reflexology practitioner certification program, then you'll just simply click that box for the fourteen ninety seven plus taxes. To register? You can either give us a call, that's 1-866-944-2576, that's toll free in North America, or you can email Jack at ireflexology.com. There are two options are below uh, which you can also click to register, so you can call, email or click the buttons below to register. We look forward to welcoming you in our class and teaching you the fascinating art and science of reflexology at whatever level you choose. Okay, so we've got some questions uh, in now, Jack, um, and I'm just wondering if you can help me answer them. Uh, that would be great. How about going right ahead now? Um, question here from Joe in Nova Scotia. Joe says, is there any additional cost for course books or manuals? If so, what is the total cost for the books? That's from Joe in Nova Scotia. Well, thank you, Joe. That, that is a great question uh, because in the old days there used to be, uh, but with the virtual classroom, everything is downloadable. And that means that your course materials are all included in your price. So you save quite a bit of money that way. So uh, that's good. Thank you, Jack. Now, the next question I have is from uh, Suzanne in Calgary, Alberta. And Suzanne says, Hi, I'm a registered massage therapist working in Calgary, Alberta, and I'm interested in adding reflexology to my practice. I was wondering how many hours is your reflexology training? That's Suzanne in Calgary. Well, thanks, Suzanne. Uh, it's, it's great that you're a massage therapist. We love having massage therapists take our program and the reflexology will really help you with your with your business now in Canada there's no regulations so ours aren't a necessity here however our program is internationally accredited and there are places in the United States many of the states where 200 hours is required so our program is actually 250 hours we meet and exceed the hour requirement anywhere so the answer is 250 hours Excellent. Okay, so um, now we have a question from Veronica in Seattle. Veronica wants to know, do you have a payment plan for the full course, 1497 course? So do you have a payment plan for the full course? That's the 1497 course. Yes, we do, Veronica. We have a payment plan that's split over three payments. You can either pay all at one time or the three payments. But for that, you'll need to email uh, me at jack at ireflexology.com. Okay, yeah, well, that's the one that's up on the screen here now. Okay, I'm just checking here um, for more questions. Okay, there's one here from Liz in Edmonton. Liz says she's excited and she loves all the information we've shared. Thank you, Liz. We, we've enjoyed sharing it. And her question is she wants to know when can she get started? 
Liz wants to know from Edmonton, when can she get started? Hi Liz, thanks for that. Yes, we've been able to share some great information with you. I'm as excited as you are. So you want to know when can you get started? You can get started right now. Whether you choose relaxation reflexology or the full certification program of 250 hours, you can start right away. That's the beauty of a virtual classroom. You can actually start right away. When you register, you will be sent information on how to access the classroom and all your course materials. And as you know, there's three options. It's on the screen. You can telephone, you can email, or you can register below online. The telephone number again is toll free. It's 1-866-944-2576. Because the sooner you register, the sooner you'll be working in a profession that is geared towards helping others. And that's what we all like to do with reflexology. As well as being profitable and flexible enough to accommodate your family and also your lifestyle preferences. So Liz, once again, select one of the options and I look forward to you joining us at the Universal College of Reflexology and our family of students. Thank you, Jack. And Liz, can I just say that the thing that we've heard so often from our students is that they were just drawn to reflexology. They weren't sure why they were drawn to it, but they felt that this was their calling or something that they wanted to do. And when they became a reflexologist and started working on other people, the words that's often described to us is that it is a life-changing experience for them and we would love for you to join the family and for you to have your own life-changing experience courtesy of reflexology. So I see we have some more questions here Jack but I think we've run out of time for answering those so uh, for those who've uh, put in a comment or a question if you want to send that to us either by email or by telephone uh, the email address as we've mentioned before jack at ireflexology.com or our toll-free telephone number one eight six six nine four four two five seven six send your comments and questions in and we'll be very happy to get back to you with any answers oh it's been a wonderful call Jack I've really enjoyed being able to share this information it's hard to believe that the time has flown by so quickly do you have any final thoughts or um, comments that you'd like to make before we close out here and say goodbye to our listeners well, thanks, Lauren. I, I really do. Um, what wonderful information we put together here. You, 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 Lauren, have expressed so much to do with the research of reflexology, where it's going, where it's come from, um, all about our wonderful programs here at the college. And uh, I, I was just excited listening to what you were saying. We would love to have you join us for this fabulous reflexology program. Uh, so you can call me at one 944 2576. If you're ready to register, we'd be delighted to get you in on that next class if possible. My email is jack at ireflexology.com. That's jack at ireflexology.com. Or you can simply register on the box below on your screen and you can get started uh, registering now. So we look forward very much to working with you. Lauren and I will be with you all the, st all the steps of the way. Lauren will be tutoring, I will be coaching. We look forward to meeting you in our classroom. Yeah, we really look forward to seeing you and hope that you're going to make a decision that's going to change the rest of your life. So we look forward to hearing from you. And if you have any questions or want to know any more, then please just contact us on the telephone number or send us an email. Thanks a lot. Really enjoyed being able to make this presentation to you and we hope that you take action. Bye-bye. Bye for now.